the first one he moved from Nigeria to America. Now, he has he's an international mover. <laughs> Just now, he has moved from uh, America to Nigeria. He has a pattern. Does he have a right to do? Ah, he's a grown man who he can do what he likes. But what am I speaking about? Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sama. So uh, in this video, I want to talk about uh, uh, Daniel, the guy that was married to Stella Damasos that has ended up remarried. Dan Daniel Ademinoko. I hope I'm saying it right. Sorry guys. So, so now I want to speak about this guy. This guy was married before to an actress called um, Doris. Okay. And he was married. And from the reports we got is what happened was one day, this is how the news was. I want to speak about the, you know, the court of public opinion. Okay. So the news was that this man was married to Doris. One day he picked up their child, got in a flight and left the country and went to go. By the way, um, Stella Damasos was already living in America. Okay. So he took his child and went to America and... Uh, never went back basically took his child and went into this new marriage and the way people were describing it was he abandoned this woman snuck out of one marriage and went into another marriage that was the narrative it was all over the internet and people were there was a lot of backlash on the on Stella Damasos and the backlash is like oh she's a husband snatcher and she took the woman's child and all of that you know I made the comments I was saying that you know let me tell you guys a grown man that decided to leave one country to another with his child to go be with another man or go marry another woman. That is a choice he made. Stella Damasos did not go to that house to bring him out, a grown man. Stella does not even have the powers to take that child. That was a man that was walking away from one marriage, didn't want to leave his son behind and decided to take his son with him. So you can say, oh, he kidnapped his son they, because the rumor then was that the wife did not, or the ex-wife, the Doris did not know. So he took his son with him because it happens in marriages. Some people say, ah, when marriage break up, oh, if I go to America, I can't leave my son. I want to take my son with me. And then they sneak away. Okay. He made that choice. And I said it in the comment section with somebody. I said, people were like, oh, it's not even that the seller, the master ended up marrying him or whatever. But why would she take another woman's child? And I said, look. She is not the one that took that child out of that house. Even by law, self, for a child to leave a country, the parents would have been the one to facilitate the passport and the visa and everything. So the man made that choice. And I said, at the same time, if, if Stella Damasos had said to the man, you can come and join me, but you're not coming with your son. Stella already had two children, okay, from her late husband. Okay, if Stella had said, you can come with me, with me but you're not coming with your son. So people would not say, eh, you married the man. And you reject his son. All these wicked women. She refused to accept the son as her own. She will never win. I'm coming back to this guy. Okay? You know, let me tell you guys. From what I've seen. It's like, the guy is a saint. I'm not saying he's, but that's what it's like. This man snuck out from what they said. Listen, and let me tell you guys, I'll say this. The guy has so far that's one thing i think i would say i like about the guy is that he has not he's very quiet what i've not seen him do any social media drama he's doing what he's doing he's not coming and behaving like a yule duce he's acting maturely about it he's a, like i said in my other video he's a mover he's a silent <laughs> he's literally a silent mover he's just moving and, and he's like as he move you know do wahala he just face, face in front okay this guy took his child with him I moved to America and joined Stella and her two children. So they became a, a what do they call them? They call them a, there's another word for them, blended family. Okay? And it looked like it was, it looked like it was doing okay. And at a point, um, Doris was getting, we were seeing Doris, like maybe she was visiting and getting to get, spend time with her child. Am I saying, let me tell you guys, yeah, I would run mad if not me, somebody grabbed my child like that, especially at that age. It's not, at that, it's not like a teenager that can just fly around if he wants back and forth between both parents. Any parent will feel it, but what I'm saying is that let's learn to point the finger where it should be pointed at. The man is the one that took his child and left. Okay, that same man, when he left, Stella, 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 Stella is what we're speaking about. And the man was a saint. A grown-ass man was a saint. 
Nobody's, nobody said much about him. Okay, now I'm even looking up to remember what his last name is. Because that's to show you how little I got to hear about him. Right? Okay. He then, now, from what Stella has said, he went to Nigeria. Maybe like a holiday or whatever. The next thing she heard on the internet is that her marriage is <laughs> Sorry, guys. She says it's on YouTube that she found out that her marriage is over. When you guys say YouTubers are spreading rumor, you see that a lot of this rumor end up being true. Okay. She said it was on YouTube that she heard that her marriage is over. So the man, it means that from what we're seeing, you know, what we're hearing, you know, what is out there on the media, he snuck out of one marriage and moved internationally to another one. And from what she is saying, Stella is saying, he's knocked out again. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm going to try it. He's knocked out again. And has ended up in Nigeria and is marrying somebody else. Do you guys not sit down and process it and realize that, like I said, this guy is a mover. <laughs> this, he, has, he has a pattern. This guy has a pattern. Do you now see that it is him? I will say it again. I respect him for moving quietly. You know, they do drama. He does not behave like you, Leduce, embarrassing himself. You will say, ah, oh, which can't move? move Let him move. He's a... Let me tell you guys, I keep saying it. Let the grown adults do what they want to do. But I think the least a man can do is let a woman know, so I know they do again, than to be sneaking. I don't know why is he sneaking. Is he... What is he afraid of that he does it in a sneaky way? But I'm talking about... How the Daniel remains the saint. Check out, Google the story. All you see is Stella this, Stella that, Stella that. You hardly hear his name. But he is the one that has moved twice. He has moved to the third one now. The first one, <laughs> this guy, because of the first one, he moved from Nigeria to America. Now, he has, he's an international mover. <laughs> Just now he has moved from America to Nigeria. He has a pattern. Does he have a right to do? Ah, he's a grown man who can do what he likes. But what am I speaking about? Why point the finger at women when men make their decisions? If you thought Stella was the reason why he snuck out of Nigeria to America to go and marry Stella, why did he sneak out again to go and do another one? Do you not see? What I'm basically talking about is, I do not understand how this guy is still like a saint in the eyes of people. Look at him. Like, I saw the picture of him they were posting, and I'm like, wow. I do, see, we don't know his reasons. He, he, he has, that's another, he has not come out, you know, he has not granted interview. As far as I know, it doesn't, I don't think there's ever been an interview that he granted or where he started explaining himself. We don't know why he's moving. But I want to, I really want to bring our focus on how, whether we like it or not. When the man has no stigma attached to him, let me tell you, nobody should be stigmatized. People don't want to do it again. Let them go their separate ways in peace. I will always stand by that, that end each other's lives. Do you know if we Fighting in the house and get, allowing children to experience that is, is uh, traumatic for children. When parents know to against, okay, bye 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 bye. You know, fortunately, that's not what we you want marriages to be about. You want it to be like forever. How do you call it? Not happily ever after, whatever. But fortunately, it doesn't happen. But even when it doesn't end up with happily ever after, the least they can do is go their separate ways in peace, alive, than ending each other's lives. This is, I'm just basically expressing my position about it. But going back to what I'm saying is, I sat down and I saw how the whole attention is on Stella, Stella, Stella. And I'm looking at the man and I'm not seeing any attention on him. And I'm, I'm wondering, how is this guy that has moved exact same way twice into his third marriage? How is he a saint? Basically, it's like a saint. There was even a post I saw and they said, so, let me see how it was captioned. I saw, I was like, wow, look at how beautifully they captioned it. Yeah, look at this beautiful caption. I saw it on this website, it says the will. It said, Stella Damasso's ex-husband, Daniel. Uh, look, look at this, you know. Okay, Stella Damasso's ex-husband, Daniel, uh, Ademi, Ademi Noko, no no gives marriage third chance. Can you see that? Gives marriage third chance. See the phrasing, how positive the phrasing is. 
if it's a woman, I don't know whether the phrasing. These people did a good job because they, this is how this particular site chose to post it, and they didn't put any negativity. You know, they didn't attach any negativity to it. It's possible this is how this particular website operates. They never go into, you know, the possible that they never go into drama, or whatever. But I, I, I look at the way it was phrased, and I look at the internet. I can't see much. But all I end up saying is completely nothing said about the man. So much said about the woman. And you just basically get a picture of this Daniel at the end of the day. He's like, a, he's the saint. While Stella continues to be dragged from left, right and centre. I don't know. This is how I feel about it. As always, is my opinion. And I look forward to you guys' opinion because I like to read comments and I like to, I need to, I like, I like to learn too. I like to hear other people's opinion. And so that, because let me tell you, nobody knows it all. I'm here telling you my opinion. It doesn't mean I know it all. You know, but I'd like to hear your own opinion as well. What do you believe? Do you believe that it was Stella's fault for the man walking away from his first marriage or are you of the opinion that he's a grown man it is his choice he's the one that made the choice to go here and there whatever and that uh, as a grown man he is responsible and he it is responsible for his decision you know and nobody should be blamed for his decision i don't know as always whatever your opinions are please when you write it just write it and say oh no it's stella's fault because stella should have done this or stella this da 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 so we can actually rob minds or it is his fault because this that da 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 educate us you know let's rub minds on this um as always, whatever your opinions are, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, I'm going to say thank you for watching. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.